Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, uh, someone sent this to me and said, please put this up and share it. And I'm not sure if it falls in the category of fear porn or is this true. So I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of it. I'll put the link in the description box. It's only um, 20, I mean, 2 minutes, 26 seconds, but I don't want to steal her thunder, and I can't copy and paste because it's got music to it. Really creepy music. It's part of the plan. Anyway, take a listen. It's doing good today. Well, they could vax within 24... Oh, let me back it up. I hope everyone's doing good today. Well, they could vax within 24 hours. Yes. Operation Warp Speed. Are you ready to go if a uh, vaccine is approved? Okay, let me... Okay, that was... The, seven Grains of Salt is her channel. This is an interview on 60 Minutes. And then they, they show the New York Post up here. So maybe this... Guys, it seems military. Okay. Okay, let me continue a little bit. Move tomorrow? Yes, we are. Yeah, he's. What's the first here. order you're going to give? It's a simple command of execute. So once you say execute, how fast does it get out there? Within 24 hours. Yeah, so is that the same guy? That's definitely like a general. Uh, at a podium, no mask. The president, no mask. A guy behind the president with a red checkered tie, and he's got a mask. And the woman, I believe it's military, she's behind the man at the podium, and she's got a mask. So I don't know what the deal is there. Either it's contagious or it's not. And either they got a, that says they can vet, the title is Vax in 24 Hours, 7 Grains of Salt. Okay, here's the thing, they're saying that once they get the order to execute, okay, this man is saying, we can get it out there in 24 hours. Okay, so the, the order to execute could end up being two, three, four months down the road, but they're showing like they have, like you see a video clip of tons of bottles, oh, not tons of bottles, it's mass production going on of all these bottles going down the assembly line like they're already it's already made it's already ready it's already out there and last night when I was on with the team grafted in Team Jesus um, one of them said they've had it out and I know that for a fact, well, okay, I can't say for a fact, because sometimes we just don't know if what we're hearing is the truth. They've been working on it for years. Um, one of the men said that it's been out since 84. Now, I don't know about that, but to say that it's already ready... I can believe that because they had they had the um, what was that conference they had last fall uh, something 201 and they Tony Fauci uh, oh, a whole bunch of them were there having this conference like what if there was a, a pandemic around the world what would we do and they discussed a scenario of things they could do to help calm it down quicker and have fewer deaths uh-huh they pretty much just laid out the whole 
scenario of what just happened in the last six, seven, eight months, however long it's been since March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, eight months. And now hospitals are getting overwhelmed again. I mean, I knew that was going to happen, didn't we know? But is the vaccine ready? What if it is? Be ready to say no, but I honestly do not believe it will be enforced until the bride of Christ is out of here because Luke 21 says, Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things. All means all. And to stand before the Son of Man. Now, that doesn't mean you might not be caught up in the fires out west. Or a tornado blows your house over. Those are things that's been happening for how long? Fires, tornadoes, uh, bad weather, uh, car accidents. So many people are dying of car accidents and gunshots. My phone has this thing on it called News Break. And I, I'll pick it up. Let me see if there's one on there now. Nearly every day. Okay, it's, it's got to heat up. It doesn't just turn on. I'm glad I never needed to call 911. <laughs> but anyway, it'll be up in a second. And anyway, there'll be a little picture right across here. If there's a news... Sometimes it's uh, something about a child um, or, or something else. But the point is, okay, there's none today. But yesterday, there was another shooting in East, East Birmingham. I don't remember. They're, they happen all the time. People getting shot and killed with gunfire. Nobody is promised another day. And I, I just wish that those who keep thinking, well, I'm trying, uh, I'll get there. Please, don't think you have another day. Your eternity is depending on your obedience to the Lord. You understand? Do you understand? Birmingham, Alabama man set for trial in slaying of exhibitionist's wife. So an exhibitionist had a wife, but some man slayed her. What? The Pentagon announces the U.S. See, I can get news right off my phone. I'm sure y'all do too. That's probably how you get it, a lot of you. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. I'm not sure how to take this, but you listen to the rest of it and see what you think. But I, it's, it's not saying he's going to yell it, execute today, and we're all going to be faced with it tomorrow. And what if we are? What are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to refuse it. Whatever happens. Whatever the consequences. But I, don't, I just don't believe it. I believe the word of God. We trust God, believe the word, and pray. And stay ready. Live holy. Be perfect, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. And when you're not, you repent. And then you're perfect again. Do you get that? You keep your slate clean. I hope you understand and know this. He loves you so very much. He loves us. 
He knows our heart. He knows our heart. You don't do it to impress anybody around you. You do it for him. Okay. I plead the bleed the bl I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over each and every one of us and our devices and over our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.